four, the 22 of Billy Alley, the 88H of Fred Raymer in row five. Jeremy Campbell and Joey Saldana side by side in row six. Lance DeWeese and Craig Delansky in row seven. Kerry Matson and Stevie Smith in row eight. Steve Kinzer and Terry McCarl in row nine. Skip Jackson and Wayne Johnson from row 10. Jason Solwall, Darren Pittman in row 11. Tim Schaefer and the wild child in row number 12. Craig Kenzer sets the pace as they work through turns three and four. We go green to the white line. Race fans, keep one eye on your flagman. Well, on the front row, your chief starter, Doug Clark, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, waves the green flag and we're underway. Drag racing down the front stretch toward turn number one. Craig Kinzer on the bottom, Brian Paulus on the top side of the speedway. It is Craig Kinzer getting the lead down the back straightaway. Brian Paulus holds on to the second spot. Donnie Schatz now starts to close as they work into turn three. Schatz goes to the outside, two and three wide through turn four. Schatz up to second. Craig Kinzer leads lap number one of the 2005 Nationals. And now Kevin on the move on the bottom in turns one and two. Donnie Schatz takes the high line down the back straightaway trying to reel in your leader, Craig Kinzer. Paulus Still running third. Craig, Chad Kimmon on fourth. Here comes Lasowski to the outside as your race starts to form for the lead. Nose to tail into turns one and two. Craig Kinzer and Donnie Schatz both on the high side of the speedway. Then 15 car lengths back to third place running Brian Paulus. Chad Kimmon on running in the fourth spot. Danny Lasowski fifth. Shane Stewart running sixth is now your race for the lead down the front shoot. Donnie Schatz to the inside. He'll be shut off by Craig Kinzer in turn one. Now goes to the cushion of two. Kinzer saw Donnie Schatz on the bottom in three and four. Went to the low side to block in one and two. Craig back to the cushion. Schatz follows him through turns three and four. Lasowski with a slider on the 15K of Chad Kevin on Lasowski up to four. Now looking at Brian Paulus for the third spot down into turn one. The dude goes right to the bottom, slides up across the racetrack. they work to the cushion in two and take the third spot down the back shoe. Danny Lasowski up to third. Donnie Schatz continues to try to work the low line around three and four, trying to catch up with Craig Kinzer. Craig Kinzer's lead at lap number five, nine-tenths of a second over the Parker Stores 15. It's Craig Kinzer, Donnie Schatz, Danny Lasowski, now Shane Stewart in the fourth spot. Fifth is Brian Paulus, Jack Kemenaw, Brooke Tatnell, Randy Hanning, and Fred Raymer, Billy Alley, and Terry McCarl. Leaders work the top side in turns one and two. Craig Kinzer's advantage, seven tenths of a second. Shots chopped off two tenths that last time around. Now, Paulus and Kemenaw side by side down the back straightaway in a battle for fifth. Dottie Schott still trying to reel in Craig Kinzer off the bottom of turn four, but Kinzer keeps the momentum up on the high side. Shots will follow him to the cushion, this time in turn two. Craig Kinzer and Donnie Schatz. Now Brooke Tatnell to the inside of Brian Paulus. Couldn't make a move for the sixth spot. Now Schatz again on the very bottom in three and four. First and second both run the high side in one and two. Schatz chooses the low line in three and four. Billy Alley moves by Fred Raymer for the nice spot through turns number three. Billy Alley now starting to move toward the front of the field as he's in pursuit of Randy Hannigan. Leader can start to see the slower cars as he gets to the end of the straightaway. Traffic will be coming up, and that may tell the tale. The lead at nine-tenths of a second once again for the Remy 11K. Donnie Schott still holding on to that second spot. Lasowski trails in third. Shane Stewart running fourth. Chad Kevinoff fifth. In the traffic with 10 laps complete, 20 laps remaining. Craig Kinzer works to the high side of turn three by the lap car of Skip Jackson with Jack Hottenschild right ahead as they work off turn four down the front chute. Lap traffic, a lot of it, Johnny, right ahead of your leader. And most of those slower cars running the same top line that Craig Kinzer has been using through the first 11 laps of this feature event. Lead up to just over one second now. Craig Kinzer, Donnie Schatz, Danny Lasowski, Shane Stewart, and Chad Kimmon on the top five. Donnie Schatz getting a run on Craig Kinzer through turn four this time as they both go back to the high side. Lap cars right ahead of your leader, but Schatz now starting to close the distance between first and second. Shots now tries to make the move to the high side of the slower cars into turns three and four. Stevie Smith a little bobble right as Craig Kinzer went around him. Craig Kinzer gathers it back up and now Shots thinks better of trying to split Skip Jackson and, and Stevie Smith now makes it happen in turn number two. Still closing in with your leader down the back straightaway. Craig Kinzer showing the way up on the high side of turn three. 
now. Shots will get a run on him going through turn number four. Craig goes right through the middle, tries to get a run off the turn four. Now down the front chute with lap traffic ahead. Wayne Johnson and Hot Child, the next two cars. Donnie Shots has closed the distance. Now it's less than half a second. Craig Kins are trying something different than last time in three and four. Entering on the top, cutting down to the bottom to exit the corner. This time he'll ride the cushion all the way through. Back in the pack, Billy Alley now moves up to the seventh spot as we're just halfway, halfway home here. Shots on the bottom in one and two for the first time. Now as Craig Kinzer continues to ride the high side. Meanwhile, Shane Stewart gaining a little bit of ground on Danny Lasowski for third down the back stretch. Craig Kinzer with two lap cars riding his groove as he works down into turn one. He'll slide right through the middle of the racetrack with shots. Takes it up on the cushion in turn two. Can't get a run on Craig Kinzer as he puts a lap car on Wayne Johnson now between first and second. Craig Kinzer may have benefited a little bit as Wayne Johnson bobbled on the cushion in turn number two. Not sure the Remy 11K was going to get by Johnson before that bobble occurred. And now nearly some contact between Hot and Shield and Craig Kinzer into one and two. Well, Craig wanted the bottom of turn one, but Hot wouldn't let him have it. Now he makes quick duty of Hot and Child down the back chute. But Donnie shots Johnny still trying to close in through turn four. Donnie Schatz still working the high line in three and four, has gone back up to the cushion now. Craig Kinzer to the bottom in one and two, trying to get by the slower car of Jason Solwald. Schatz still rides the cushion, trying to get a run on Hot and shield the slower car down the back stretch. Yellow flag coming out as Brooke Tattnall slowing over in turns one and two, Johnny. Could be some rear, now we're being told the right rear down on the Steel Dreams car number eight. For Brooke Tattnall, it was a sixth place run before the right rear tire let go. 18 laps in the books, three laps past the halfway point. Single file restart this time down the front straightaway. Just 12 laps to go in the 2005 Knoxville Nationals AMA. Craig Kinzer brings him off turn four to the cone. Green flag is out. Craig Kinzer uses the bottom side and turns one and two down the back. She takes the lead. Donnie Schott still running second. Now, shots to the inside of the slower car of Jack Hodge. So Craig Kinzer committed to the cushion, and shots gained a lot of ground that time on a turn number four. Big run. Now, shots goes to the inside of turn one, taking a look. Here comes Danny Ososki now moving by the lap car of Hodge Child down the back shoe. Craig Kinzer got a nice run out of turn two to put nine car lengths between himself and the Parker Stores 15. And Danny Ososki not out of this one as well. He's just eight car lengths behind shots. Craig Kinzer with just under 10 laps to go. Still your leader, Donnie Schatz running second, Danny Lasowski third. Clear track in front of the leaders for now. Again, shots to the low side in three and four, and as we saw very early on in the race, Craig Kinzer committed to the cushion all the way around the half mile. This time by, Craig Kinzer comes off turn four. There'll be eight laps to go. Eight to go for Craig Kinzer. Steve Kinzer up to the 11th spot now in the Quaker State car number 11. He's coming alive in the latter half of this race. Donnie Schott still within striking distance. Now takes a couple car lengths off the lead of Craig Kinzer as they work out turn four. Donnie Schott still within that striking distance. Both cars go to the high side of turn one. If we stay green, we will encounter traffic once again before this feature is over. Terry McCall slowing in turns three and four. Sorry, Johnny. Caution flag waves for the Knoxville Raceway track record holder, Terry McCarl, coming to a stop on the high side in turn number four. Getting set to find out what about the dude? As they work their way off turn four, green flags out. Nice restart for Craig Kinzer. Now Lasowski to the low side in one and two, trying to take second from Donnie Schatz. The Duke will make the pass out of turn number two. They nearly get together on the back stretch as Schatz gets a run back on him on the high side. Schatz slams the door on Lasowski in turn three. Now Lasowski goes to the cushion. Donnie Schatz holds on to the second spot as Craig Kinzer tries to drive away. Craig Kinzer pulling away now when Schatz and Lasowski were battling for the second spot. Schatz has about 12 car lengths to make up into three and four. Craig Kinzer, Donnie Schatz, Lasowski back to the bottom in turn four. Here comes Shane Stewart also running up in the fourth spot. Lasowski on the bottom. Kinzer, Schatz, and Stewart on the high side. Craig Kinzer's lead, 1.024 seconds with five laps to go. Lasowski still trying hard on the bottom to make that move for the second spot. He'll pull up behind shots going down the front chute, duck to the inside, knocking on the door. 
Hart. Side by side, they'll race for the second spot. This battle is exactly what Craig Kinzer needs to begin to pull away. Shanta Lasoski racing, racing each other tooth and nail for the second spot. As Craig Kinzer crosses the stripe and complete lap 27, the lead up to a second and a half. Craig Kinzer looking to win his first Knoxville National while Donnie Schatz and Danny Lasoski battle for the second and third spot. Out of turn number four, just two laps to go, one mile from a $140,000 payday. The third generation driver now leading by a second and a half. Down the back straightaway, Craig Kinzer has a bit of an open track. Lap cars are within his sights. He'll haul it to the high side. This time by, Doug Clark waves the white flag. One to go for Craig Kinzer. Out of turn number two and down the back straightaway, Craig Kinzer sees the slower cars, may not have to deal with them into the final turn. Tony Bachoven call the finish of the 2005 National. Craig Kinzer brings it off the high side of turn four, double checkers are out. Craig Kinzer is the 45th Knoxville Nationals champion. Wow, race fans, holy cow. One happy driver pulling into the pits and heading to the scales. As Craig Kinzer makes his way to the scales, race fans, that was a Jim Dandy! Steve is pumping his fist, throws his helmet. Look at him, race fans, Steve Kinzer! Jeez. As you can see him down here now on the front straight. And he's not satisfied with victory, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Craig Kinzer and his father, Steve. And here in Knoxville, Iowa, Craig Kinzer. Knoxville National Champion. For the rest of your life, they're going to introduce you as a Knoxville Nationals champion, Craig Kinzer. Congratulations, man. Thank you, thank you. Can't wait. Let's hear it for him, Craig Kinzer. Oh, we got another guy down here who wants to talk. Steve Kinzer. Not, not bad for a 20-year-old boy. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm not even feeling it right now. It's to the full effect. Uh, probably when I wake up in the morning, I'll feel it more. No, I just probably when I'm 20 years old, I'll really appreciate what what or 20 years down the road, I'll probably really appreciate what I, well, what I've accomplished. But uh, it's just I can't I can't explain it right now. It's just unbelievable.